Hi. Today I'm having a look at um, a very, very famous guitar book. It's called Playing a Day, uh, Guide to Modern Guitar Playing. And it's uh, by a guy called Bert Whedon. And this book was first published in 1957, I think it was. Yeah, 1957. And it was the book that apparently everyone that, that learned to play sort of late 50s, early 60s, every guitarist would have had this book. Uh, when I first started playing, which was in the 80s, uh, I, I was well aware of this book. I didn't ever see it. It's the first time I've seen it. But uh, I didn't have a copy by then. People didn't really buy it, I don't think. But uh, it was really well known then, though. And anyone that was older than me, um, that, that I knew that played probably had this book. So one of my pupils recently bought a copy and uh, lent it to me to, to have a look at. And it's interesting to, to read. It's obviously quite old fashioned now because it's so old. And uh, this is a revised edition from the 90s, but it, it's still, I don't think they've changed much. So it's written in the late 50s and it, it reads as though it was written in the late 50s. Um, but it says on the back that uh, Eric Clapton, Mike Oldfield, Paul McCartney, Steve Hillage, George Harrison, John Lennon, Sting, Brian May, Pete Townsend, these people all learned to play from this book. So that's a pretty good, uh, a good thing in its favour. Anyway, so I've, I've had a quick look through it and I've got uh, a few positive points and a few negative points. This is obviously looking at it in 2021 and it's not that fair, the negative points aren't that fair to, to the book really because when it came out it was probably amazing. But anyway, looking at it now, positive points, I've made a list. Um, it's extremely thorough and for quite a, a small book, quite a thin book, it's not that many pages, it's like 40 odd pages, there's a hell of a lot in it. It's very thorough, there's a lot in here. It talks about different types of guitars, amps, um, talks about playing positions, there's chords, chord charts in here, there's notation, it teaches you to read notation, uh, which is like the dots on the stave. Um, tells you a lot, a lot about music theory. Um, now this is all a positive thing about this book, it's also a negative thing, there's way too much information in here, I think. And it's called Playing a Day. Uh, you wouldn't really be able to play in a day using this book as a complete beginner. I think it's a really interesting book for someone that already plays guitar, maybe someone that's been playing for, for a few years, uh, and this would be great for filling in the gaps, and if you want to brush up on theory and that kind of thing, then it's very good. I think there's too much theory in here myself, but a um, quick example, um, right near the beginning of the book, I think possibly before you've even played anything, uh, it mentions where, where is it? He mentions about um, chord, chord boxes. So having chords in was like G7 or A minor, using those instead of notation. And he says that the, the negative side to that is that uh, the player has to then choose which inversion of the chord they're going to use. Well, someone that's never played a guitar before and is on about the fourth page or so of this book, they're not going to know what an inversion is or be that interested in knowing what an inversion is. So there's a few things like that in here that I think is, is too much information. Um, further into the book, there's another example of this, is that um, he talks about keys. Now, as someone that already knows about keys, it's quite interesting the way he, he describes them and talks about what notes are in different keys and it, where, where the notes are on the guitar for each key. But it includes things like the key of C flat major. Well, you're not going to be using the key of C flat major very often, if at all. So it's not that important, if you're a beginner learning to play guitar, it's not that important that you learn about that really. That's what I think. Uh, so overall, my conclusion is it, it's no good at all for beginners, but very interesting to read if you can already play. Even if you haven't been playing for that long, it's, it's still an interesting book to get. Um, and the fact it influenced all these people or encouraged all these people to help these people to learn, like McCartney and... Um, Pete Townsend and people like that. It's just that fact makes it worth a, a read through. I think most guitarists would find something in here they didn't already know. So it's good from that point of view. But misleading title. No good for a beginner. 
you wouldn't be able to play in a day reading this. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll do some more. I've got loads of books lined up for, to do quick reviews on, so I hope that one was useful. Okay, thanks.